Always gotta do a few, right? How's it going guys and welcome back to Drop Clutch Garage. Got a little something different in the garage today. We have our BMW 128i, this is a 2011. And we have an issue with the convertible top being that the rear window does leak. So we're gonna replace it. We're gonna replace the entire top, even went with a different color. And we'll take you guys along with the ride and how to change that. Did not see very many videos on how this is done. So hopefully if you wanna do the same thing, we can help you out with that. So let's get it inside the garage and start taking it apart. All right, guys, you can see right here, we have some seam sealer, it looks like, or some type of rubber RTV gasket material. Trying to reseal that window, it's not working. Uh, so we're gonna replace it. All right, guys, we're gonna start by unboxing the new top. Um, this is from Robbins Auto Top LLC. I'm not sure if it comes with everything that we need. I know it is the top, it is the glass. Uh, I believe we will need to source some new rivets. So far it doesn't look like it has come with them, but let's get this unwrapped and take a look. Always gotta do a few, right? Alright guys, first thing we're gonna tackle with this assembly is we're gonna take down this headliner here. Looks like there's some sound in here in that as well. Then we'll get this trim piece off. Uh, looks like some torx screws or bolts. And we pop off this entire plastic piece. All right, we're gonna zip off these bolts for that trim piece. It's gonna be a T30, guys. Don't drop them. It always helps. <laughs> looks like we have some more T30s up top. Looks like it's sandwiching in the top of the top. See this kind of comes forward now and the top comes off from around it. Get you guys in a little closer here. All right, so you can see how that kind of sandwiched in the fabric or canvas of the top. So we'll go ahead and pull that out from there. There we are. And guys, these are where our rivets are coming into play here. You can see it almost looks like limiting straps that are sewn into the top are also riveted into the structure here, here, and another one up here. So we're gonna have to drill those out and I'll probably get a piece of cardboard or a bowl or something underneath so I don't get a bunch of metal shavings inside the vehicle. But for now, let's go ahead and lower the front. Let's take a look at what's attaching it on the back. All right guys, for starters, we're gonna go ahead and remove this weather stripping. the defroster. All right guys, we went ahead and drilled out these rivets holding on these what looks like limiter straps or these straps. And then we also have some T20s that hold on the top right in the middle there. Let's go ahead and get those removed. All right guys, so we got most of the rivets at this point drilled out. Um, we're on out back to the back side and what's holding it on. There's a little piece of plastic that's sewn in to this that fits up into that trim. And we'll go ahead and pull that out. All right, guys, you can see that plastic tab that just fits up into there, into that flap. I'm just gonna pull that out all the way around, including the entire back. All right, guys, um, inside this U-channel here is where the headliner snaps into in the back you can see how that would snap right in all the way around so we took that off um, these little 
caps came off and we did that. Those look like they go right there. One more rivet right here that attaches the bottom corner of the top. You can see it's still there. Access is really difficult, so I just cut it for now. I'll be able to drill it out and then I'll be able to set the rear first, have it folded on this side while I put in the new rivet and then kind of stretch it over the top. Um, but it's fully disconnected now, so we go ahead and get it removed and get the new one kind of lined up and mocked up for now and then get ready to install it. All right guys, now that the top is removed, I can show you a little bit better of that last strap that was holding on. This was the rivet. Um, this was attached to it as well as another string coming up from here to that bottom corner of the top. Uh, we also have this flap. You can see this is completely disconnected from the old top. This flap is riveted in as well. So we need to drill this one out in preparation for the new install. So we'll drill this out on both sides and then we'll go ahead and lay the new top on, uh, install these two rivets. And then we'll, from that point, we'll go ahead and get everything fitted into the channel all the way around the structure. All right guys, so have the top secured on that bottom U channel. So we'll go ahead and loop this around. There's two holes in it. The factory one wasn't like this at all. The factory one had a separate loop attached to this fabric that this string ran up through and then was riveted right here. So I believe they're trying to accomplish the same thing, just a little bit differently. All right guys, it is the next morning. I did have to source some rivets, some new rivets to attach the new top. Uh, so I went this morning, got some rivets, the right size that'll work. Uh, I believe it's gonna be different depending upon um, obviously the year, make and model of the vehicle top you're working on. Probably better to plan a little bit ahead of time. You could order a, a rivet kit for your specific vehicle. So we're gonna pick up where we left off and start installing this new top. And this wire here is gonna go around the outside of this strap and also grab this string here. All right guys, last thing we have to do with this old top before we throw it out is we have to pull out these cables uh, from this channel here. You can see I already did it on this side. We just have to do it on that side. Um, and then we'll go ahead and run them through the new top through this channel. All right guys, so we got the cables all the way pulled through. Um, this little rubber piece goes over the cable and then it snaps onto this spring, just like that. Next part is we're gonna go ahead and get this part of the top inside the channel of this quarter trim here and then get this weather stripping pushed back up. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna work on our last three rivets once we get that into place. Yeah, we kind of got this all loosely in place for now. This is where we're gonna, this is gonna be a little bit of a difficult part where we're gonna stretch the rest of the top in that channel here. All right guys, so we have these three straps that we're gonna have to rivet. The one closest to the rear of the vehicle first goes through this loop right here on the structure, and then actually gets bolted right here on the frame. These two get riveted here and here. The one closest to the front first goes through this loop, and this one just goes directly to this rivet. Um, they don't come with any holes, so we're gonna have to poke through with our rivet. And as you can see, we got this tucked in nice in the trim. We'll go ahead and do the other side. Then we'll poke our holes and get this thing riveted in. After that, we'll finally stretch this thing over the top of the vehicle. All right, so we got this one ran through that eyelet there. And this is the only one that's attached with an actual screw. It's that T20 Torx. It goes on the other side here. So we have all of our rivets done. Um, the most difficult part has actually been this piece right here. Uh, this we have to stretch over around this bar and then this little U-channel clips up into it. 
And then there's three bolts, T20s, that go through this U channel here. Um, so what I've been doing is finding the holes with my pick. And then if you have some uh, quick dry interior adhesive to kind of spray on here, hold around and tape and let it set real quick to keep it in place. So then you could push this channel up into place and then put your three screws through. All right guys, remember that cable that we strung through from the old top? Um, it goes right in, there's a hole in the front lip of the structure, it just slides right in. Just like that. The last bit we have to do guys is fit the whole top over the edge of this and then we'll screw that trim piece back on. We'll be good to go. All right guys, so we have the edge folded over and then we have this lip that's gonna keep it folded over, kind of sandwich it in between. T30 Torx are what holds it all together. It's kind of going down the line. Get them all in before I Take them all the way. Alrighty guys, as you can see, the top is all done. It turned out pretty well. I'm really happy with it. Um, I like the little bit of a satin finish this one has uh, as compared to the original one. It kind of fits the car a little better. Uh, if we check out the rear one. This thing's going to seal like brand new. Uh, the only other thing I would recommend is if you're going to do this, make sure and order a new headliner underneath. Um, if it's in bad shape, go ahead and take a look at that first. They're quite expensive. They're almost as much as a new top. Um, but if it's in rough shape, you're going to want to replace that at the same time you do the, the convertible top itself. Besides that, guys, I hope this video helped you out. Be sure to check us out at Drop Clutch Garage. Also, if you like this video or any of my other videos, please subscribe and share it. 